inches. Yep. Oh, 12 eggs, girl? Are you serious? Bit of a life hack here, if you love wine but you don't love the fuckface feeling that it gives you after drinking it, then you've got to try this. Biodynamic white grape juice. It tastes exactly like wine. Well, it tastes a lot like wine. It's very concentrated, very, very tasty, high carb, just so, so healthy. And it's just, it really does remind me a lot of wine and, you know, you don't feel like crap afterwards. You actually feel amazing. So try it. So I'm a little bit excited here. I've got a parcel and I'm going to open it together. I'm going to open it up. Um, yes, this goes. hope I don't chop anything up. Thanks for the knife, by the way, Bonnie. Nice. A little cheer gains. Just make sure I don't stab myself. I'm going to be a good YouTube view, though. Ooh. Kill that? Hey, share your bamboo sleep with us on Instagram. Um, yeah, this is, no, sheets, like we got bamboo sheets, this is not Instagram sponsored, really silky sheets. So just wash the sheets, and there's a quilt, letting it all off gas, freshen up, can't wait to put it on my bed, these are bamboo, so silky. So a lot of you have been leaving comments about Tanya Burr's recent recipe, which is a rainbow cake. She made it a couple of days ago. It's had over half a million views. So this recipe has reached so many young, impressionable minds. So you wanted me to react to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to watch it together. I have not watched it at all. So this is going to be my genuine reaction. So let's get started. Hey guys. So today I am Ruth. The first thing you're going to need to do is put 670 grams of butter. 670 grams of butter? That's almost like, that's over half a kilo of butter, of animal fat. That is pure animal fat that is going to go to your fat stores. That's gonna cause problems with your adrenal glands. That's gonna give you skin issues. That is going to fuck with your digestion. Oh, and not to mention the cows. We cannot forget the cows. So much cruelty is involved in you know, taking, taking this butter, taking the dairy, taking the milk from the actual cow. So oh, people don't think about this, you know, they don't think about the cow in this whole equation, which really makes me sad. So Tanya, that's a whole lot of fat. That is scary. It's super, super unhealthy, bad for your heart. And this cake is huge, guys. So there's a lot of stuff going in here. So you're going to put that into, if you have a KitchenAid, pop it in there or put it into your lovely big bowl and then um, use like a electric hand whisk or wooden spoon if you're feeling really strong. Okay, so 675 grams of castle sugar. Go ahead. I'm okay with the sugar, but it's better to have organic raw sugar. That's for sure. And I'm just going to clean these together. We were actually coming this weekend because I think it help me eat this cake. I need to have people eat it with you. Um, but I've got my family coming this weekend, so they will definitely help me eat this cake. So now we're going to need 12 eggs. So 12 I have a dozen eggs here and I'm going to use them all. So just get. Oh, 12 eggs, girl? Are you serious? Holy shit, 12 eggs is scary. Oh man, that is like, that is a heart attack cake. That honestly is. I mean, some of you are not going to want to hear this for sure because you are eating this way, but people, this is the truth. This is bad for you. This is bad for your body. This is bad for your heart. This is bad for the chickens and the chicks. This is horrible stuff. This should not be entering the human body at all. And I just, I really am perplexed as to how Tanya feels okay, like ethically, like morally, putting out such a, a heart attack cake. Because I know Tanya knows about the vegan lifestyle. She knows about it, but she still puts this out there. She still refuses to put out a cruelty-free recipe. It is so easy to make this cake a vegan version. Why wouldn't you do it? Tanya, why? You know what I mean? And, and Zoella is the same. They just continue to ignore the vegan lifestyle and continue to exploit animals, destroy the planet, and destroy people's health. Tanya, I just, I don't get it. You have so much responsibility with your channel. You know, you've got three and a half million subscribers and they're mainly young women. Young women who are potentially, or are going to, you know, change the world, world for either good or for bad. So we have a responsibility when we put out a message. Is this message hurting people? Is this message 
hurting animals? Is it hurting the planet? You know, we have to go through this checklist. If we don't, then how can we really live with ourselves? You know, as a population, we are in this together. We need to try and look after each other. We need to educate others. We need to look after the animals. We're all in this together. This isn't each to their own, okay? We are all in this together and we have to start acting like a team and looking out for each other. So this just really, really dis disappoints me. This just start thinking, thinking more about what you're putting out and less about like book sales. Think more about the impact you're having on this planet because you have a huge potential for positive change for this planet. So that, that is my message to, that, to Tanya. Tanya, I'm disappointed. You really, really have to think about your message, the message you're putting out there and what impact you're having on those around you and on the planet. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you like these videos, reaction videos, give us a thumbs up. And yeah, that is my video. Love you guys. And remember, you don't need to like me. You just need to hear me. I will see you tomorrow for a vlog.